welcome to part two of roasting slash reviewing your art. But this time it's a little special because we have a guest. Please introduce yourself. Hey yo, it's Pato. Um, I'm, you know, I I'm on YouTube, uh, Pato Arto. Uh, Dina will link my socials in the description. Uh, Smart. yeah. <laughs> I'm here to co-host the roast slash review. So here I am. Hi. <laughs> All right. So let's go to the first one, which is by Jocelyn. Jocelyn? I, I, um. Okay. So first off, I think that you're kind of in between with anatomy. Like your anatomy skill is pretty good. Like the proportions and all seems fine. I can understand that you have a little issues with the feet. To be honest, I do too. But one of the main issues here isn't the fact that she lacks eyeballs or anything, but it's the fact that everything is so bright. I really do like the look of bright things and pastel colors. It's beautiful, but the only issue is that with the lack of contrast and values, it kind of gets a little lost because you have a very bright background, you have a light hat, light skin, light hair, light shirt, light shorts, and also light boots. So next time when doing an illustration or having your characters, try to have different values. And by values, I mean what's dark to light. So here you have a lot of light values. Try to have more medium and dark, please. Alright, that's all I gotta say about it. Uh, yeah, I've, al I've also noticed that. Um, the anatomy is good, but... Uh, there's some issues with the hands. Uh, so sometimes the fingers look like it's way too apart, like on the... I think that's the left hand, I'm not sure. But on her left hand, um, you can see it looks a bit... Like, it, the fingers look a bit separated and it's a bit straining to do that with your hand in real life. So I suggest looking up references. And yeah, I do agree with Dean on this one. The background looks a bit too bright for me. And um, yeah, the background looks a bit too bright and it blends in with the character. So I suggest either adding a darker outline or making your, va your contrast and values more like, um, more more different shape <laughs> i don't know i'm making yeah. up words here so, like having different what, what they said we both know what we're talking about different range of values yep. <laughs> i think that's it ah uh, yeah like, there right. we go this one is by sabrina sabrina, sabrina cyx sabrina. sabrina i just just imagine that girl from Miraculous Ladybug. Oh! Uh, that's the only Sabrina I know, so it just looks like Sabrina. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. So, first off, I wanted to say that I think her expression's really cute, where it's kind of like a gentle smile. It's really nice. I also like your background. And I like your colors, too, because green is complementary to purple, so the colors really look well together. Right. But... <laughs> This is just like probably one this is probably just more of a personal opinion but i always found it a little weird when people shaded hair that way where they would have they would outline these huge chunks but the way that they would shade would be with like with a paintbrush to make it all detailed but since it's all in one chunk it kind of looks a little weird and there's also no strands of hair sticking out so the hair doesn't look very, doesn't really like flow a lot. It kind of looks stiff and such. And since everything is such big chunks of hair, but the shading inside of it is detailed, it doesn't really blend well. Also, the rear hair seems to be blending in a bit with the ponytail because the shadowing there is the same. So what you can do is you can have different values for that. You can try to have a darker shadow on the ponytail just to try to separate it from your rear hair a little bit. Yeah, that, that's about all I have to say. Yeah, that's that's really great. You took the words right out of my mouth. But um, yeah, 
Uh, for the hand though, um, I I get that there's like this gotcha thing. Well, not gotcha thing. Well, gotcha club or gotcha life thing where the bandages are not really, you know, like. Oh yeah, that's. But like the bandages don't make sense. Yeah, so I suggest drawing the bandage yourself after drawing your hand, so that it doesn't look kind of like. There's shards of glass on your hand. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, overall, nice composition, nice colors. I like the complementary purple and green, and the accent of black. That's nice. That's nice. What's the guy's name? That's Tabo. Uh, Tabo. Tabo. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Tabo, like T U B B O. Well, I like the background, the beans. <laughs> I don't know how they relate to the character, but it's kind of random, so I like it. But I just want to say, this is a common mistake that a lot of people make with horns. But you need to understand that horns attach to the head, meaning they're underneath the hair. But the way that you drew it, it kind of makes it look like the horns are just kind of floating on top of the hair. So what you can do to fix that is you can draw some hair over the horns instead of doing that because it kind of just looks like he was stuck on his hair and that just don't look right okay that's all i have to say uh another thing i'd like to add um when you color it in some uh i can see you missed some spots <laughs> um like oh. in between the the hair sticking out and the horn on the yeah, left I see, side, I see. you can see the background, the beans yeah, the, in the corners. That's a common mistake for artists who are like me. I I made that mistake in one of my recent speed paints. <laughs> Um, I failed to fill out the corners with the colors because I got too lazy. Understandable, but if you want to make the art. Wait, I noticed something wrong with the right ear. Um, the the floof the floof kind of looks like it's falling off. I'm sorry, <laughs> but wait, that, wait, that's actually, true actually. Um, I suggest like leveling both the ears because the right ear looks lower than the left. I don't know if that's intentional, but if it's not, I suggest you go fix that. Flip your canvas, people. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. Flipping the canvas really helps because things kind of get lopsided after staring at it. Yep. So this one is by Kozoi. Kozoi? I think? I don't know. Kozoi? Kozoi. Something like, Something like that. that. Alright. I really like how you shaded everything because it's really simple, but it kind of pops out really well because you have some good values. The skin and the undershirt is light, but the hair is medium and the overalls is dark. So it pops out really well, but the thing that doesn't pop out is that little talking text thingy or the little details in white that you have over your yellow background. Because your yellow background is very bright and so is that little talking text thingy. So I can't really see it too well and the legs also blend in with the background just a little bit. And speaking of the legs, uh, yeah, I'll have to draw this, well, actually, I won't draw this out. <laughs> They'll draw this out because I don't know how to, so. I mean, I do know how to, but you already drew it out, so <laughs> we'll use that one. Alright, so yeah, I do agree with Dean on this one in the background and the white details. I suggest making the background darker. Um, like a darker shade of yellow. I really like the pastel and soft look of it all, though. It's really cute. Um, I like this sh shading on the hair. Alright, so this one is by Y though. Thank you for the very easy username. Okay, I just want to say that you seem to have a good grip on anatomy. Like, of course there are things that you can improve, but I think that so far it looks pretty good. But there's just an issue with the face. Uh, the eyes seem to be a little too far apart. 
try to bring those in a little more. There should be how to make sure that the eyes are a good width apart is you place a third eye in between them to measure it. There should be enough room for a third eye between both the eyes so that they're not too far away. Also, this can be a stylistic choice, but I feel like the mouth is maybe a little too big or maybe a little too high up. Like, I feel like the whole chin and stuff could maybe be a little longer and maybe less thick. I've pointed out a few errors on the clothing. Uh, like, hold on. There's, um, there's an issue with the sleeve because the, the, the clo- the, like, clothing folds, they look a bit sharp and kind of going out of nowhere. So I suggest you make that stand out more. Okay, this one is by Totes G-Pop. Alright, I just wanted to say Totes, Totes G-Pop. Yeah. Okay, if I get in, I'll cry of happiness. In that case, cry. Cry for us. No, I'm just kidding. Like, don't cry. I mean, you can oh if you God. want to. But, like, <laughs> that sounded wrong, but I mean, you can be happy. All right. So, first off, I really like your colors. They're really soft, and there seems to be, like, this pink glow to some things. I don't really know how to describe it. All right. So, this is a really cute piece. I like it a lot. But... It seems that the rim for the glasses is really, really light, so it kind of blends in with the hair, and I can't really see the rim of the glasses too well, so maybe try either adding an outline or making the rim a little darker, or just a different value from the hair so that it's easier to see. Also, this can just be a stylistic choice, I understand if it is, but the mouth seems to be the same color as the skin. So either try coloring that white for the teeth or like a dark purplish reddish color for the inside of the mouth. And that's what I want to point out. Take the stage. <laughs> All right. So I noticed something wrong. Um, the ear is a bit high on the face, if you can see that on the, oh, yeah. the left ear uh, and the star earring. I suggest lowering the ear a bit. Like, the top of the ear is, like, where your eyelashes should be. And the bottom of the ear is where your cheek should be, I think. I'll just j demonstrate in, in drawing later on. Yeah. But, right. yeah, that's what I wanted to add. Thank you very much for that. Alright, so we have one by... We're moving on to the next one. So we got another one, well, another, son of a, I gotta cut those out, okay. So we have one by Colored Hearts. First off, I want to say that it's absolutely adorable. I love the colors and everything. It's so cute. Okay, so, good job. Good job for melting my heart, because this is adorable. But, of course, I'm very good at finding things to complain about, so... I just want to say the front of the hair, it kind of seems to go higher up than the rest of the hair. You see what I mean? Like at the top, it's going higher than what the rest of the head seems to be. So yeah, maybe, maybe fix that. But everything else seems nice. I can't criticize the hands because there are no hands. I understand it's chibi. And... That pink thing between her eyes, maybe, I can't really tell what that is, I but now I can't. Oh, a band-aid. I don't know why my thought is a mouth. Oh, she's drinking. <laughs> okay, I see. So, she's drinking, but it kind of, I'm really sorry, I can't unsee it now, but it looks like a mouth between the eyes to me. I can't unsee it now either. I, I can't. I gotta, like, cover it with my finger to see it normally again. So, it kind of just looks like a mouth because it's the color of what the mouth would be. So, if it is a band-aid, maybe try fixing up the shape a bit or, yeah, making it look more like a band-aid or something like that. But overall, I think the piece is really cute. Alright, that's all I have to say. Yeah, uh, there's really nothing else to say here. Um, 
it's it's a really nice composition. The colors work nicely. Um, I like the dripping effect on the hair. It's cute. It's like she's a milkshake or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, I like the colors here. The pastel works together nicely. Other than what Dina pointed out, it's it's on a good piece. I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we are moving on to the next one. Can you pronounce the name for me? Uh, Joy Joyumi 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 yes. <laughs> Joyumi Joy <laughs> Joyumi Joy you me Joy you me <laughs> Joyumi and in the Joyumi. watermark it has an O in the end Joyumio. <laughs> What if that's a zero? Oh, <laughs> I'm dumb, <laughs> bro. I don't know. So Joy Yumio or Joy Yumi Zero? I don't know. I'm blind. Uh, joy, Joy Yumi. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's okay. Let's okay, about art. the name. All right. So first, four. <laughs> okay. So first off, I just wanted Ooh. to say that I do like your colors very much. Since you seem to have one primary color, which is the green, and then all your other colors are like either a white or a more skin tone color, so it really gives way for the green, and I think that's really nice looking. Okay, but this is probably just me, but I feel like the son of. How do I speak? Okay, so. I can't tell if that's the front hair or the rear hair, but it seems to kind of be fading on the left side of the face where it connects with the cheek. It seems to kind of be fading into the back hair and it confuses my blindness. So you have a really dark color at the top of your head, the top of your head. So maybe also try having a darker color around the lower part of the bangs to try to separate everything and bring it more out. And the shadowing, you do have very solid ones, but then you also have soft ones. So for your shading, just try to maybe, it doesn't seem to make much sense around where the collar, uh, what is that? Scarves? Uh, collar the shadow? collar. Yeah, the yeah, you can call it a collar. <laughs> All right. So the collar uh the shadows below it doesn't really seem to make sense because it's a shadow that's kind of going all around it and that doesn't really make much sense. So I'm also having a hard time figuring out where your light source is. So first figure out a light source and then make all the shadows kind of opposite to that. That will really help, I suppose. That's all I have to say. Alright, so what I have to add on to that is um, uh, when you're when you're combining cell shading, like hard shadows with soft shadows, I suggest um, like for example, there's like a line. I'll just uh, illustrate it, kind of. But the further an object is from like the where it's where the shadow is originally cast the more blurry the shadow will be so at the like if there's a corner the shadows at the very corner would be hard shadows and the shadows outwards from the corner would be soft shadows like in the collar, the collar scarf thing, <laughs> I suggest like making your s shadows solid under the collar itself, like those two triangle pieces. But then, if it comes up to the the turtleneck thing, make it more soft. Uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense to me. I get what you mean. All right. So that seems to be the last submission. All right. Okay, so that's the end of it. Thank you so much for joining me, Pato. 
No problem. Right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining me again. And in the future, they'll probably join me again for a third one because it's just so much more fun having another person here and giving more opinions because I miss a lot of things and they offer a lot of good details that I will miss. So thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to them and follow them. So thank you. Thank you for featuring me on this. So yeah. Oh, no problem. It was an honor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll be closing the video now. So All thank right. you so much, everyone, for watching, and see ya. See ya, guys.